treat people as they could be, not as you remember them. This is the basis of today's story. This is Four Minutes in the Front Row. I'm John Vroman. I'm so happy you're here today because what I'm about to share is a story that would transform the way I would see leading others, parenting, and being led by others. See if you can relate to this story. So it's a beautiful sunny afternoon. I'm with my wife, Tatiana, my son, Tiger, who's four at the time. We're walking through our local park, which has been transformed by roller coasters and and all sorts of stuff. It's a beautiful carnival that they've set up. And we're passing this rock wall, which is about 40 feet tall. My little four-year-old wants to climb the wall. And I remember at the time thinking, there's no way he's going to be able to climb that. So I was encouraging him to go do some other ride. But he was persistent. And after hearing his, his pleas for wanting to climb the wall, I, I said, let's go try it. What, what the heck? But in my heart, I thought, there's no way he's going to do it. So he got, he got harnessed up and he jumped up on the wall and he flew 30 feet up. And he got to this part right near the top. But the wall inverts out and I thought, there's no way he's making it past that place. And sure enough, in that moment, he turns around and he looks down at me from the top and he goes, Papa, I can't. And I look back up up at him and I say, it's okay, buddy, you tried. And then right in that moment, the guy working at the carnival turns to me and he says, I think your boy could do it. And he turns around and he looks up at my son and he goes, hey, buddy, try again. (laughs) And my little boy grabs the wall and with that newfound confidence and belief, he climbs all the way to the top and he smashes the button and the lights go off. And in that moment, I am both super excited for my son, but also feeling terrible as a father. His life coach, motivational speaker, father wasn't wasn't believing in his ability to get to the top of the wall. But the guy working at the park was. And I'll tell you that something dawned on me that day, that I treat Tiger like I remember him yesterday, not as who he's become today, or better yet, who he could be tomorrow. Now, where where else do we do that in our lives? Where else do we allow that to happen to us? And I think back to you know, some of the times I was so frustrated as a kid because my parents were still treating me like they remembered me yesterday. And I wanted them to see me as this you know, grown adult when they were still treating me as a child. How many times do our kids get frustrated with us or those that we lead get frustrated with us? People that we're supposed to be lifting up and we're not doing it maliciously or we're not doing it to hurt them. Sometimes we're doing it to protect them from failure or whatever else it might be. Sometimes we're just trying to be real with them. But we have to remember that as people grow, we have to try to stay one step ahead. We have to believe in their potential, sometimes more than they do, and sometimes we're doing just the opposite, even though we don't want to. Think about in your life, where might this be happening? Where are you treating others like you remember them yesterday, not as who they've become today? And be careful with your mentors and those that surround you that they are not treating you like they remember you yesterday, but that you can see your own potential. Even those that love you will do this from time to time. Think about this message. Think about your potential and the potential of those around you. Until next time, keep living your life in the front row. Take care.